This is not one of those videos where I write something into ChatGPT and then paste the output into Excel. No, we're gonna be using ChatGPT's actual API to build an automated software directly into Microsoft Excel. First, we'll show how to output a formula into Excel, then we'll show how to retrieve a list of data, and then we'll show exactly how to output an entire table of exactly the data that you're interested in directly into Excel from OpenAI. To start this video off, we're gonna be working in a free file that you can download automatically using the link in the description. Just look for free file and hit the Google Drive link. And so you'll see a file automatically download. Just click on that and then go into that folder and we'll open this file in Excel. And then this file, I'll just right click, open, and then I'm gonna open with um, the Notepad app, okay? And so we see it says enable editing. I'll just allow that. And the first blank cell here in row five is the API key. You're gonna need to get this from OpenAI's website. So just go to openai.com. If you don't have a login already, you're gonna have to create one, which is fine, it's free. And you can just go to API and log in. And once you have that login, you'll have $18 worth of free credits for the API request, which I found goes quite a long way. Once you're logged in, you'll see this screen. I would go up towards personal and click on that and then view API keys and then create new key and hit this green button and that'll copy that API key. Then we'll go back to Excel into this cell here and we'll paste our API key. That's what we'll be using to call on ChatGPT. Another thing you're gonna have to do is make sure that you have this automate tab in your ribbon. And you can do that by right clicking on the ribbon and then hit customize ribbon and make sure that this automate tab is checked. And if you don't see it in your options, you're gonna have to go into the web browser version of Excel because your desktop version is one that doesn't allow for this. So hit okay if you have it. And then we'll go to automate and hit new script. And then this is where you're going to open that uh, t that t dot .ts file that I talked about at the start of this video. And I'm just gonna hit Control A and Control C to copy. Then I'm gonna grab all these and hit Control V to paste. Just to clarify, these Office scripts save through OneDrive, which only works if you have an Office 365 or Microsoft 365 subscription. So you need that to make sh this whole thing work. Now that we've clarified that, I'm gonna show you what happens just when we run this function and then we can break down the code in a little bit more detail. So we're giving it a prompt. This is where you type to chat GPT telling it what you want it to do. Right now I'm just testing it out by saying return only an Excel formula that gives B14, so this cell, to the power of B15, return no blank rows, spaces, or characters. And I'm telling it that I want it to output this formula in this retrieve formula sheet, so this sheet that we're currently in, and in the output sheet cell is C14, so right here. So I'm just gonna hit run, and we'll see if it gets it right. And there, it came back right away, and it says power B14 to B15. So that was correct. Another example of what we can ask ChatGPT to do is to give us a list of information. In this example, we're asking it to tell us the 10 most famous painters of all time and what years they lived. But we're changing the output sheet name to output data, so we want it to output in a different sheet than the one we're using, and we want it to return it in cell A1. Now let's hit run and see what happens. The script took about five seconds to run, and then it returned this list, which is pretty good. Now let's walk through really quickly uh, the code and just a little bit of how it's working. So this code is um, in TypeScript. Well, Office Script operates through TypeScript and TypeScript was recently voted as one of the top four most loved programming languages in the Stack Overflow developer survey. And this is really my first time using it and I can see why people like it so much. So what we're doing first is we're setting the input sheet to retrieve formulas. So this is something I manually hard coded. And then we're gonna set uh, our query to the value of C7, so right here. And then we're telling it which chat GPT algorithm we want it to use. And then we're also setting um, all of our output information right there. And then we're setting our API key here. 
Another piece of important code is where we're making the actual request. And I put a little comment in here of where you can find all this information. And so if you follow this link, it'll take you to the documentation on this API. And then here's some other information that you can change. And based on what you read here in the API docs, you might want to. Like one important thing to keep in mind is this max tokens will uh, tell you how much of your tokens it's allowed to use while it's running a query. So if you're running low, you can probably decrease this value. Or if you have a lot, you can increase it to possibly make your results more accurate. Um, this is more information about um, how to fetch this information from open api's website and it's going to return as a json and then we're going to put all of this into a something called a response array that's split based on uh, blank rows and then we're going to loop through all those rows and output them into the uh the, the cell that we declared over here and I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Layla Garani because I initially saw this implementation in her video and kind of built off of it. Now here is where I see the real power of this tool. Imagine if you could pull in really any table of data you liked straight into Excel and you could just tell Excel, I want these column headers and I want this data and it would just pull it in in a useful format that you could work with that data. Wouldn't that be incredible? Well, I see this as a potential future option with ChatGPT, and I'm going to show you how I've started to implement this here. And this is in the advanced uh, file that's available for purchase on my website. Or you can try to make this yourself, and I'll show you how you can do it. So we've got this prompt, but now with the prompt, what we're using is a concatenated field. And most of this will always stay the same. So it's always gonna say return a table of data in comma separated value format, CSV, and then we'll say what the prompt is in cell C13. So this is what we'll change every time is in C13. So we're saying the top 10 largest United States companies by market cap as of 221, 2023. And then this part will always stay the same. The column header should be, and then we're telling it ticker, so the stocks ticker, the sector the company operates in, the market capitalization size, and the annual return. And I said, there can only be numbers, letters, and commas in your reply. Do not include any special characters, blah, blah, blah. So you have to be very specific with chat GPT. Okay, now let's run this. And I'm telling it to use the same sheet I'm in, and it's gonna go to cell C17. Now let's hit get chat GPT data and see what it does. This one took a bit longer to run, about 10 seconds, but here it gives me these 10 companies, so Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, etc. It gives me the sector in which they operate and the market cap and the annual return. However, I'm not certain that these results are accurate because I pulled up over here the top 10 companies in the US by market cap. And you can see the order is generally correct, right? Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. Oh, on this one, Google's actually ahead of Amazon, and on this one, Google's behind Amazon, and you can see the market caps are slightly different. See, 2.3 trillion versus 2.07 trillion, and I think what ChatGPT probably did is it went and found some sort of article or something from, who knows, maybe a year ago and found these results. So that's why I say I think in the future this could be an extremely powerful tool to pull anything you need into Excel, but I think it's going to take some iterations from chat GPT and the technology behind it before it gets everything more accurate. But it could be incredible when it's finally up and running. So if you're using this tool, I would not suggest taking anything it says at face value without further verifying or testing it at this point in time. Sometimes this doesn't always return a perfectly formatted table. And let's try this example. So we wanted to give us the weekly box office revenue of Avatar 2 and we want the columns to be the week number and the weekly revenue. Let's give it a shot. That query took about 10 seconds to run as well. And so here we can see our results. It gives us the week number since Avatar 2 came out. And then it says weekly revenue, but it says $7 each time. But then it goes into this other column and it puts 717, 817. So you can see this just it is not entirely correct. And you know, maybe there's just nowhere on the internet that this is well formatted data. So this isn't really there yet, but there's certain things like certain queries I've tried where it's pulled in data perfectly and then others where it doesn't work so great. So you have to 
kind of use at your own risk. Now let this be a little coding challenge to yourself. If you want to turn the simple file for free into the advanced file that's for purchase, but you don't want to pay for it, I'll show you exactly how you can do it yourself. And it's not that hard once I tell you how. So this is the simple files code. This is the final while loop. And you'll see we're taking this response array and we're just taking each row and outputting it onto an, or each value in that array and outputting it onto a new row. But what you can do is you can separate the values by commas. And so then for each part of this array, you'll have a new array. So then you can take the get offset range and you can run a new loop that loops through this column number and outputs into different various spots in that table. And you'll get that nice looking table. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and uh, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.